Hey guys, it is um, Thursday, October 23rd at 7 o'clock. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I actually did one yesterday and posted it. And then uh, kind of had a freak out and took it back off. Um, so uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm having a hard time doing the whole video thing. Uh, I was going to journal and I'm having a hard time with that too. And um, it seem as if, seems as if... Um, just having a real difficult time putting my thoughts and feelings and emotions out there. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about family stuff. Um, I just got a message from my mom, and considering that the holidays are approaching, um, I feel like it's probably a pretty relevant topic for a lot of trans people. Um, I know that I was having a conversation just a couple days ago with Carson, a very brief, vague conversation with Carson about just the holidays and so forth. So. Um, my family um, is really, really important to me, and I've always been a pretty, um, I don't know, it's not central, but I've, I've uh, always been pretty present in my family, even though I live, you know, four hours away from them, but um, this time around this year, I feel very lost and disconnected from them because I don't feel like I'm welcome there. Um, usually by this time we've had conversations about who's having Thanksgiving like at whose house and all that kind of stuff and there hasn't been any conversation and so although I haven't been directly uninvited, the fact that I haven't been invited or it hasn't been talked about feels like um, it's a statement. You know, sometimes silence is a statement louder than the statement itself. So. Um, so it's bumming me out and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do and uh, um, it sounds, you know, fucking sappy or sad or pathetic or something but I don't really have anywhere to be and um, I know that there's people in my world that would be um, totally willing to have me there but uh, that's hard for me so the phone call I just got is that um, my aunt, who when I was younger I was very, very close to, um, she, when I came out as um, a lesbian, she was one of the first people in my family that I told. Um, she didn't take it very well, but um, she just, she just was, I don't know, she's just this really rad person and I, and she's just so full of love. Um, they just discovered that she has cancer and um, uh, I haven't seen her or my family really since April when I told my parents that I was transitioning and um, I didn't go to my cousins or my yeah my what didn't I go to my grandfather's um, surgery and I made a video about that and uh, and now there's this going on and I feel like I feel like I've you know I lost my family and um, with Susie and I breaking up, um, she was my family too, and I feel like I lost her. And uh, and equally, she feels like she lost somebody when I transitioned, and that's a whole other video, a whole other issue. But um, so I don't know. I guess I just wanted to put some words to the place of holidays are difficult. I think for a lot of people, for a lot of different reasons, and I've never been a fan of holidays necessarily um, but uh, I think that I uh, underappreciated them in the past um, because I could be there and I felt uh, like my presence there wasn't causing a disturbance and um, you know sometimes we don't realize what we have until we don't have it anymore Sometimes those are the hardest lessons, you know? When we lose somebody or we lose something that really matters to us. Um, so, um, yeah, so I just uh, was having a, a difficult time with the whole holiday thing and the family thing. And, and um, in the video, <clears throat> excuse me, I have, a, I have a head cold and it's, it's kind of miserable, frankly. Um, that the video that I did yesterday was talking about, um, you know, 
just Susie and I struggling a bit and how um, she's having a hard time with the fact that she lost her girlfriend and she lost her best friend and really mourning that and I just really honor and respect that place and um, you know I, I get it from a, from a different position obviously I get it, get it but um, I feel like I've been in mourning my entire life um, because there was this person Aiden who um, who never got to exist and so uh, so I feel like I kind of been grieving and in and out of the stages of grief my whole life and so to be presented with somebody who's grieving the loss of somebody that kept me hidden um, is I can understand it and I can respect it but I don't have the same sort of feelings about it but my family I know is going through the same sort of a thing where they're you know my parents especially my family doesn't really know um, they're grieving their daughter you know and my aunt and uncle, you know, they're grieving their niece and all of that stuff. And that's such a conflict um, between us, you know? There's, we're, we're in just such different positions, myself and my family, because what is celebration for me and, and really being able to uh, be seen is for them um, creating the invisibility of a person. So I'm becoming visible and, and the person they know and love is becoming invisible. And Susie said something the other day that she has slowly watched that person, I don't really wanna say my old name, um, day by day disappear. And, um, and I understand that, you know, like there's times I look in the mirror and I'm like, who are you? You know, who is that person? Um, because for you know 31 and a half years, been on testosterone for six months today, actually, it was April 23rd. I always get confused in that. Like, is it, do you go by weeks? Or do you go by the actual day? I don't know. I started testosterone April 23rd. So um, that over the course of the last six months, the person that I have seen staring back at me in the mirror, the outside person, is going away and is gone and that's rad I really like that um, but it also really causes has caused an identity crisis for me um, and caught between the worlds of people who know me now only as Aiden um, and people who knew me before before um, I transitioned before I came out and being caught in those worlds and um, that's difficult sometimes so um, yeah. Wow. This is a super bummer vlog here. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's more that I want to say around the family thing and the holidays. and <clears throat> It's a noticeable difference. I have a much harder time getting to my emotions and my words. They just feel deeper within me. Um, so... Uh, So my plan right now is to uh, go to San Francisco for Thanksgiving and uh, hang out on the beach. Um, I'll be by myself. I don't know what Susie's doing. I don't. I think she's going home, or maybe. Oh, she, I think she's going to the group home where she works. Um, you know, my closest friends are going to be gone at their families, and uh, so you know, I wish I lived someplace where. Uh, could just have people here, you know, I'll be at this house, and uh, everyone will, I don't know, like, all the misfits, you know, I remember as a kid, loving, the only thing that I loved about Christmas was um, the, the cartoons, and uh, um, Rudolph, because there was the land of the misfits, and in my whole life I f have felt like that's where I belonged, and, um, and there's a lot of reasons why I have felt like that misfit, I mean, I know that there's a lot of people in the world who feel like that, and so I'm not trying to say that I have the corner market on that at all, but <clears throat> um, all of those people who feel like they're on that land of misfits, you know, like we can all just get together. And, you know, I'm just going to be really frank here. As a person with an eating disorder, Thanksgiving is not my favorite holiday. Um, 
So, uh, you know, I'm kind of up against that as well, and uh, figuring out I don't know, how to navigate the next couple of months will be interesting for me. Um, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know.